Hey guys, Dave here. I have Dwarf's Winner from Vesuvius Media. They were nice enough to send me a copy to review. Uh, it says it's created by Louis Brua. Let's take a look at the back. Here's what I like on the... Actually, it's on the side. It's four, one to four players. I love it when there's games that you can play in solitaire mode because you don't always have an opponent for ages 14 plus and plays in 45 minutes. So it's a quick playing game. Uh, the reason this interested me and I asked for a copy is because I thought the little dwarves that came with were really neat. So let's take a look inside and take a look at the components. It says on the back, you build and defend your kingdom, and now that winter is here, you need to battle the harsh elements and scary monsters. Dwarf's Winter is a hand-building worker placement resource management game with tower defense elements in the gameplay. That's awesome because I love tower defense. Each player wants to achieve the most victory points, but the only way to survive the winter is to work together. While Dwarf's Winter is a sequel to Dwarf's Fall, it is an independent standalone game that includes 64 miniatures. Sounds really cool. Let's take a look inside. Alright, here's the rule book. Let's see how many pages it is. Looks like it's in full color. Okay, so there's 23 pages. There's the solitaire variation. Let's take a quick look through the rule book. Goes over components, game setup, and then talks about the different battlegrounds, game overview, refresh tracks, monsters attack, monster abilities, monster reinforcements, reveal a disaster. Phase 2 is preparation, and Phase 3 is actions, which consists of placing a dwarf, moving a door, dwarf, acquiring a hero, play music. Interesting. I'll have to read that to see what that's about. So it seems like it's a pretty substantial uh, game. Hero abilities. I, guess this is, I don't know if this is for fixing or what. I'll know once I read the book. And you got free actions, defeat a monster, overcome a disaster. So the rule book looks real nice. And let's see here, we have, let me zoom in a little bit so it's easier to see. Have some tokens uh, that you have to punch out and there's those music symbols. So I guess music is indeed a, a part of this game. That's cool. Let's take a look at the map. It's a mountain map, which is nice. Yeah, I like the way it looks. It looks real nice. It's got all these different areas. These have different symbols in them. Nice. These must be some kind of player boards. Those are all on thick cardboard, good quality. And let's take a look at the minis. Got some wolf looking dudes. I guess those are the bad guys. This is neat. So I don't know if this is a little tree dude or what. Let's see what else we got here. This looks like a little elephant. Some kind of dragon. Alright, and who's this uh, guy here? Some little fat dude. <laughs> Alright, let's take a look at the dwarfs. Some got pointy hats, some got helmets. This dude's got a shield and a sword. Yeah, I like these components. Kind of cool. Looks like the game might be something to fun to play when it's near winter time, since after all it's dwarfs winter. Maybe it's something you can play on Christmas too. see what these cards look like. Huh. Artwork's alright. A lot of symbology on the cards. 
take a look at these ones too here. These are, these look like, are these thinner material? Uh, no. Yeah, they're the same thickness. What's interesting with these cards, since they have no words on them, you could have two people who learn the game, I guess, uh, who don't even speak the same language and could play the game together, as provided they have the rule book in other languages, too. So that's kind of interesting. Looks like all the colors uh, have a symbol representing them, too, so therefore it should be able to be played by people who are colorblind, I would assume. That's good. Nice. Well, this looks really promising, and uh, I'm putting this, uh, I give them this as priority for a review, so this should be reviewed within the next couple weeks, and should be a lot of fun to play, hopefully. Thanks for watching, if you liked the video, please click like on the video, uh, and if you haven't done so already, please subscribe to this channel, and as always, have a good evening.